Sam McEwen with Husker Extra here with Brent Wagner and Amy Just. Nebraska Volleyball is the number seven overall seed in the NCAA Volleyball Tournament. Not an entire surprise that Nebraska would be one of the top eight seeds. They are not, however, one of the top four seeds. So the road to Omaha will most likely have to go on the road for the second weekend, although you always hold out the possibility that that may not happen. So let's start with this. Uh, just initial impressions of the initial draw, which includes playing Delaware State on the opening night and then the winner of Miami, Florida, Kansas. Brent, um, when you look at Nebraska's initial draw, the they start on Thursday, they play Thursday, then they'll also play Friday. What do you think of that initial weekend for the Huskers? I think it's I think it's a fun matchup. Uh, first time, I believe, first time for Delaware State, and then you get a couple of, uh, you know, power five type teams. You don't always necessarily get, you know, sometimes you might get like a Wichita State in here or Northern Iowa. So it's it's good to have uh, power five programs in there. And obviously a good story with Delaware State. Uh, I think, uh, I guess the big suspense probably from the show was just uh, what was going to happen uh, with those four and five seeds with uh, San Diego and Stanford. Stanford got the top four. It was just kind of interesting to see how the committee was going to view uh, San Diego, who played, uh, you know, did what they had, did what they had to do to kind of set themselves up to have a chance to have one of those top four in non-conference. Played a tough non-conference and did really well. Uh, Stanford had a great conference season as well, so they uh, they get the uh, the top to get the seed over San Diego. Obviously, not a. I guess the difference is the you know, potentially being at home is the is the big difference there with the four five. Uh, I'd say Nebraska got a pretty good draw. Um, obviously, other options were uh, being at uh, Texas for a second year. That would have been a tough task if you had to go down there and try to uh, beat Texas on their home court for a second time in uh, two years. Uh, Texas has another great team, great offense. And um, I don't know if Nebraska could, if that was a matchup, if Nebraska could have stressed mm -hmm. them as much serving as they did last year. Uh, just with their personnel. And then obviously uh, going to Wisconsin was another option, which would be uh, a, definitely a task. Uh, everybody knows, obviously, that Nebraska has lost 10 straight to Wisconsin. And uh, I've been up there for a regional, and it's uh, yeah, it's a really, really, really tough place to play when uh, when the Badgers are rolling. So uh, obviously Louisville is a good, really good team if that's, if that's where Nebraska ends up. Uh, they were, you know, they were in a fifth last year. They, they made the final four, obviously, last year, played Wisconsin in the semifinals and took them to a fifth set. So they they were right there with the team that ended up winning the national championship. Hmm. Amy, when you when you look at, uh, I guess, the bottom half of that early part of the draw, Nebraska has a lot of history with Kansas, um, not necessarily mm -hmm. recently. And that's that's probably the team when when you when you look at the team's that Nebraska could play the first weekend that could give Nebraska a little bit of trouble. They took Texas to five sets, the number one the overall seed. They took Texas to five sets earlier this year. Yeah. Uh, the last time, and I could be wrong on this, um, Nebraska and Kansas played not final four in 2015. Um, I was at that match. I was a sophomore in college covering that for the daily Kansas. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot of history there between these two programs at least as of late um kansas got swept by texas a couple weeks ago um and uh didn't finish out the season as strong as they would have liked to i believe they got swept by texas tech in their final match of the regular season before uh we get things started in tournament play but to echo back on what uh brent was talking about like this is the region that to me in my opinion bode the best for Nebraska moving forward. Um, so you don't have to worry about Stanford. You don't have to worry about Wisconsin and you don't have to worry about Texas. Louisville obviously is a really good team uh, coached by a former Husker. Um, but when you look at the other top seeds in the bracket, you've got number three, Oregon, and number four, Baylor. And I think Nebraska matches up well with both of those if it gets to be that um, as we move forward. Who knows what's going to happen uh, as this all takes out. But just looking down the road a little bit, even though you're not supposed to, um, things look favorable, at least right now. 
What I would say is that the second weekend, okay, so Oregon is a is a volleyball team that played very, very well in Pac-12 play. Probably the reason why Oregon does not have the uh, the higher seed is because they lost in Minnesota and Penn State uh, in Minneapolis during the Big 12, Big 10 Challenge. Since then, though, uh, they have been really good. Uh, they've lost three, I think, three matches, maybe four, uh, but they They've, they've won, I think, 10 in a row. Uh, they, they've been very, very good. And they eliminated, once upon a time, Nebraska in the NCAA Volleyball Tournament several years ago. Uh, so that would probably be the team that Nebraska would have to face first. And then they faced Louisville. Brent, when you look at how these teams match up, how does Nebraska match up with those two teams? Because, of course, the goal is Omaha. Uh, Louisville is not a, a big arena. I don't think it's a real intimidating crowd, as far as I know. Maybe they'll have more people there, but last year their attendance wasn't real high. So Nebraska's not going to a snake pit, so to speak, like Wisconsin. So what do you think their chances are of advancing and what is tough about Oregon and Louisville? I, I would just say that that was a, uh, you know, obviously those are, that was a long time ago. Just look how much Nebraska has changed since uh, week two or week three uh, since they played there. And I don't know how Louisville, they might play in the basketball arena. I think I've, I've heard that was a possibility. Uh, so normally they play in a real small, I mean, even smaller than the Coliseum, uh, smaller than a class A gym is, is where they play. Cause that's, I think that's what's best for them. They, uh, they want that intimate atmosphere. Um, but I think maybe in the past they've, uh, well, I know they've played a regular season match at the downtown at the KFC Yum center. And uh, if they want to have a big crowd, then they might for a regional, they might do that again. Um, yeah, it's just a long time ago. Obviously, Nebraska's changed uh, and changed just just in the last week. So, uh, would be interesting if we get to that point.